Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV and patch 5.2. This time I'm here to show how I actually got the shark mount, the Hybodus horn from ocean fishing. So let's for the first part of this video talk about how and then show off the mount afterwards. Plenty of hearsay exists on the internet, obviously, and, and honestly, you can never really be too sure what the heck is even accurate anymore, especially when you're trawling through pages. But at least I can attest to this working for me personally. There's plenty of other techniques, and you can pretty much be the luckiest person in the world and press nothing at all and be low level with no skills. But to actually make the big points actually appear for people on the boat, this is what I do and what others do to actually contribute. Go to the ferry docks and buy from the nearby merchant and mender a stack of krill bait, a stack of ragworm bait, and a stack of plump worm bait. You'll need all three types to get the absolute most from these fishing spots. So the two fishing routes in 5.2 with more to be added in planned updates in the future are listed when you click on the schedule menu of the queuing NPC at the ferry docks for ocean fishing itself. You will note that the two routes actually combine some of the same fishing spots, but perhaps in different orders. So here's then what you actually need to do at each of these fishing spots. You can see the fishing spot you're currently at inside the content just next to the timer on your score sheet. For Galadian Bay fishing spot, then you need to use ragworm bait. You need to catch three Galadian chovies. If you do so, you will actually proc the intuition buff. At this point, this buff lasts for 60 seconds and you need to switch to krill bait and start fishing again. You now need to catch either a drunk fish or a spectral megalodon within that 60 seconds. If done correctly and if RNG is on your side, you will proc the etheric rainbow currents. During the currents then, I should say at this point, you should always switch to the plump worm bait to maximize the size of each fish and if you have the double hook ability, use that to get double what you get if you have the GP left from your rotation for it. If then you are fishing in the southern strait, you start with the krill bait. Fish until you catch a high quality ghoul barracuda. You can mooch this to attempt to catch a gladius. After this intuition buff is procced, switch to your plump worms and try to catch a little leviathan or a spectral discus to proc the rainbow in this area. If, however, you are fishing currently in the Rotano Sea, start with your plump worm bait. Catch two crimson monkfish to trigger the intuition buff. Keep your plump worms equipped and try to fish up a sabaton or a spectral bass to proc the rainbow. And finally, if you're in the Northern Strait, start fishing with ragworms. Get a high quality toss dagger and then mooch this to attempt to catch a Dinic Thieves. If you do get a Dinic Thieves, switch to plump worms and try to catch either a shooting star or a spectral sea bow to trigger the rainbow in this location. And that's pretty much how it's done. Remember, double hook is amazing during the rainbow phase to get double points on whatever fish you tug to save those for the big tugs. So you can get double the points of those massive fish. If you're a high enough level, use Patience, which is a buff that allows you to use Precision and Powerful Hook sets instead of your real ability, depending on the size of the tug. So obviously a reminder here is that one exclamation point, you use Precision Hook set, or two or three exclamation points on those tugs, you use the Powerful Hook set and vice versa. You need to get as close to the high 5000s as you can to actually guarantee that mount. I messed up royally in this footage as I did not empty my inventory before queuing into this content, which is a massive rookie mistake. This cost me tons of extra points whilst I cast out some of my inventory items, and I think with this run I could have actually gotten 16,000 or close to it for the final tally for the title if I wasn't completely incompetent. Don't be me, clear as much bag room as you possibly can before going into this and you will easily fill two tabs of inventory minimum. I'm not kidding. As you can see from the score I actually received and I, I got an extra point bonus for actually fishing one of the rainbows up myself. So there is incentive for doing that. I got an extra 10%. So this guy does work. Beyond that, it's pure RNG what you get and how it exactly unfolds. Stick with it, however, and you will get that achievement eventually. It's just 
you know, something you have to work towards. This is actually like my eighth or ninth time in here, and it took me quite a while. I hear a lot of people said that they went in on their first attempt and got it, and, you know, they went in on the second attempt and got really lucky, and they didn't even do anything, and they were half the level of everybody else. This can happen, but like I say, the people who are spawning those rainbows are the people who have unlocked those abilities and follow a similar routine to this. So then, onto the fun bit of the video, my favourite element. To collect the mount, we actually go to Old Gridania to meet from our old friend Jonathus next to the Apkalu Falls. Under the Gathering Achievement Claim tab, you will be able to grab the High Bodus Horn. Here's what it looks like then in the game, and uh, with some details, and we'll read its flavour text as well. So, summon forth your High Bodus to ride the winds and menace the skies. A close relative of the Tornado Shark, this fearsome fish soars the skies by means of an organ that allows it to manipulate wind-aspected ether. The four fins protruding from its head are used to deftly control its course in flight. The hidden text reads, What will the morrow bring? Sharks spilling from the sky in a spectacular shower of scales? A quote there from the fishing guild leader Sisipu, who honestly has no idea what he said. The mount is absolutely beautiful in my opinion, and as you can see, your character actually lies down to ride on this, which is quite unique in itself. I had not actually seen this before today when I got this. The mount music is unfortunately generic mount flight music like every other mount and has nothing special to it. It has no special actions or anything like that. Whilst it doesn't actually have any mounted music or any actions, it does actually have this sort of ambient track linked to it. I've turned off the ambience in my game, so this isn't actually wind noise. This is noise from the mount itself. And this actually increases with water effects as well in the air when you start to move. And when you're down on the ground, this actually uh, basically removes that wind effect and you just have the water effect instead. So it's almost like you're swimming through waters around you rather than actually just normal air, which is quite different indeed. It can be used in the air, obviously under the water, and of course in terrestrial areas where it glides above the surface. Personally, I think this is amazing. It was some of the most fun I've had in the game in a very long time to get, and taught a complete noob like myself how to fish. And all it took was a tasty carrot on the stick at the end of it for me to be infused enough to do it. But what I actually gained was far more than just the shark mount and minion. I gained a new appreciation for a side of the game that I'd not explored enough. And additionally for the people around me in the game as we formed groups, wished each other good luck and actively tried to work together to each do our bit to force the rainbows to actually spawn. It's one of my favourite things to do when I'm sitting around planning activities to do with my FC and friends in Discord. And I've met some really truly great people doing it already. And uh, yeah, all I can say is definitely try it out, even if you completely hate the idea of normal fishing, because you're guaranteed to find something redeeming with this experience, I assure you. And the fact you can do it from level one and above just goes to show that Square Enix are making content for everyone. Thank you kindly for watching. Let me know if you managed to get your mount yet or if you're still grinding for it. And may the sea gods ever look down or I suppose upwards generously to you and yours in your mission before you. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you all next time. Whatever you do, don't turn your back.